but temperatures getting warmer. Slipping in a workout might be a little bit easier, but what's not easy is dealing with helpless hair. So here to show us how to turn our sweaty strands into a beautiful do is hairstylist Amy Stallmeyer. Amy, thank you for being here this Thanks morning. Thanks so much for having me. It's always fun. I was saying right before the segment, not only is this good for working out, but it's also good if you've pressed snooze one too many times. Some of these hairstyles yeah, might work out for you. So this first one, you're going to show us how to have our hairdo working for us while we work out. Absolutely. You know, what's wonderful about all three looks we'll show today is that you can do these at the gym. Amazing. So it's all about you don't have time to do the full shampoo, cleanse, condition, blow dry. You're going to be able to do this after your workout. Okay. So for Rachel, a great one is to actually put the work in, do your foundation while at the gym. You can wear your hair in a braid, a, a flexible gel in there if you prefer, or even a conditioner. Kind of like, like what you've quick, got going quick on. Quick braid that yeah. you can put into the hair. And when Hold you there, finish, Amy, turn so we can see. See how easy that is? Just a French braid in the back. A quick braid. And okay. when she's finished working out, let the braid out, give it a good shake, go to town with your favorite dry shampoo, because we all have multiple. <laughs> we do. <laughs> give it a good shake in at the root. I also use a really nice, like a, a volumizing powder for her roots. That's going to give a good grip. Okay. And then just for her ends, grab a quick little polish of a styling cream, something that's going to give... Ends, yeah, they get a little You a don't little want funky. the ends to also look too dry <laughs> if you've really used the can of dry shampoo. So I can go in, I just put like a little pearl size amount in my hand, and I'm going to go and just press on those little ends to polish. Oh, yeah. Oh, Rachel, and that's going to that give good. a little more definition and look like she's put a little more work into it than she would have had to. I feel like, just like I practiced my lunges, I'm gonna have to practice doing this, because this you looks know what? so good. I do suggest, if you have a, a special occasion, do it a couple times when you don't have a special occasion to make sure, oh yeah, I got the technique down, and then after that, you're gonna, 10 minutes done. Amazing, okay, so Rachel, you look great. Let's head on over to Sydney, and we're talking about if we have a work event or a date, something perhaps a little bit fancier, how do we upscale our, our look? Well, this is another one that, you know what, work with it. So if you've been to the gym and let's say you, you know, you perspire a lot and your hair gets dampened down. You get real sweaty. You don't. what we're saying. <laughs> it happens. You don't have to then think, oh man, I got the call. I'm going to go for cocktails or go have a date. Well, work with it. Put a conditioner into your hair or put okay. your favorite gel. Use a really, really fine tooth comb and sleek everything down and back. Pull it tight into a ponytail. I'll give a little turn here so you can see and it twisted everything and just really simply into oh, yeah. a neat bun but it becomes really chic we're almost, you put on a bold lip and then she's ready for her date we're almost going for uh, like a bit of a wet look not not downright wet but it's but it can be if you use yeah. conditioner you can absolutely go that way if you have curly or wavy hair it is good to do the conditioner because it's still going to enhance your wave but you're also doing a leave-in treatment while on your date i love this and jazz it up with the bold lip and you're good to go you look really fabulous it's wonderful this morning. Our last look is we've tried everything. We have tried the casual <laughs> look. We have tried the gel, but nothing is working. So well, what we do you do? Well, we have something. <laughs> we have something for the ladies. Like, I just, I don't even have five minutes. It's like, okay. So you can, if you want, give a quick shot of dry shampoo again. Or if you say, I don't even have time for that. You know, the scarf trend around your purse is super trendy. Put your hair in that messy bun from the gym and hide it. Cover up all that no one needs to see. Put a scarf, a beautiful scarf, I accessorize. I tied in a little bit of a knot very delicately. So it's just really one quick tie. You can put a bow if you prefer. We kept hers a little kind of casual, cool. Mm -hmm. And then she's ready to go grab brunch, grab a drink. Oksana was out. all about She's like, I totally wear this. It's yeah. Funny. Well, it's great because it's not only professional, but it's also something that's really fun for the weekend, too. Oksana, Definitely. you look good. And walking around outside, it's not just gym, because walking around outside, there's humidity and the commute. And, you know, this is sort of one of those fun, easy cover-ups. It's trendy. It's fashionable. And very fresh. All over Instagram these days. Amy, yeah, exactly. Insta-worthy. Insta-worthy. Amy, thank you so much for all of these great tips. We yeah. will have more information on our website, yourmorning.ca.